what it cost us to construct this body digester is that we had to buy the blocks, we use the quarry dust blocks, we got 50 of them. We were doing six feet by four by four feet, a six feet by four feet digester. That's the size. And we we're doing the depth. Sometimes the depth depends on the level in terms of the gradient that you are coming from the house with. So it can be three feet. In this case, it was three feet. Sometimes it can be four feet, four coats of gloves. Probably will give you like four feet. In this case, we are considering six feet by four. And then the depth was going to be three feet. So we're going to do the five inches, five inches solid block. We usually prefer the quarry dust blocks. So five inches solid quarry dust. In any situation, in any case, there is a waterlogged area or it's clean or the ground is salty and then it does affect the type of block that you do use in that situation. But quarry dust usually have been solidified and the square in it does mix with the cement and it gives you an added advantage in terms of the block that you are using. And then the cement, we're using three bags. We are using one bag for the top slab. So six by four, if you are doing a six by four digester, you are looking at it from this point whereby you have to do the top slab in such a way that one can be four feet and another can be two feet. Or you can do it. So let's say you can do it two feet and then four feet for the large part. So in case you have an issue and you are supposed to come and open the digester, then you are opening it just to what? See the inside. So you put a, a clean out here. And then maybe the handle can also be here just to put it and see how the digester inside is going to look like, right? Or you can equally do it three feet by three. I mean, there's no real size to this one. Or two, you can do it two feet, two feet, two feet. You can divide them into three parts so that it will be easy for you to lift them and put them on top of the digester. Mm -hmm. And then we're using iron rods. We're using the iron rods. We're using the 12 mm. 12 mm. Four. And then we are going to use the binding wire. I mean, binding wire that you are going to use to tie the iron rolls. When you cut them, you are going to have to tie them together and then use them as the base for which the concrete or the mortar will be added to it. And then we're going to use the wire mesh as well. The wire mesh we are using is the coated one. It's simply for inside slab. So in terms of the plumbing materials that we need, we need a, a four inch pipe, eight one, because then you leave the outlet for the plumber to come and connect it to the, connect all the house, the pipes from the house into the digester. And then you need an end cap, four inches end caps, right? So in our case, we needed three, and then we needed a, a clean out, a four inches one, because that's what will go on the top slab. And then it can easily be assessed any time we want to have a look inside the digester to see whether everything is working well. You can open it and have a look inside. You need a black rubber, the polythene one, the one that they use for construction. When you are casting the top slabs and then the porous slabs, you will need to lay them on a smooth surface and then you put the rubber there before. The two, we have the bulky material, which includes some of the materials that you need for the biodegradation, right? So you have the bulky material that you add to your cost in terms of the material cost, then you can, depending whether you're doing some filtration, let's say you're doing a house filtration, you're using bulky material, bulky material, and then you can do your biodegradation material, your biodegradation material as well, and then your bioenzyme. Depending on the situation that you need there, I've always advised you can do it without the bioenzyme, but there are situations whereby it's best you have enzyme as well, and then you add it to your cost. So it's best when you're costing your biodigester, add the bioenzyme cost, the amount that you're going to use, whether it's 600 milligram or how many grams you are going to use, do add the cost to your biodigester cost so that you can have a smooth understanding with the homeowner and then you can do that cost. Get the blocks in the truck. We have to get the either the boboya or the Abuso Camacho. There's those ones that they use that to transportation, let's say 400 cities for your transportation and then your labor.